Hey, Mark the Meerkat here from Grok Trade in the Grok Day Trading Chat Room with the trade of the day. Today it was on Snap, S N A P. And here it was at in pre market, it was rolling around and it was up big due to earnings the night before. And here we are, uh, it was kind of a whack a mole here to begin with, but it was finally starting to settle out here in what we call a high base at about uh, 3540 area. So I set a trade up above these wicks here and let the trade come to me. Let's see what happened next here. And Boom! There we are. It just shot up there, and I got in at thirty-five dollars and seventy cents was my entry. Thirty-five seventy on Snap. I am now long. Now exactly one percent behind that, uh, at at about uh, thirty-five forty-five is where my automatic stop, which was attached, is is set and and is now activated there. So let's see what happened here. Is it as it moved forward here after that big uh, candle up? Now it's just basing up here. Just taking its time, and there now it broke out here. So it was hanging here at that 36 even dollar amount, starting to move up. And now I'm going to bring my stop up here to break even. It's now about one percent above here. I'm bringing my stop to break even, zero risk left in the trade. Love it when that happens. And now it's basing up here above 36 dollars. It did make a little snip down there, but that's okay. I'm still in the trade. And patience, patience. Now it's going up here, and now it's starting to high base up this way. So I'm bringing my full stop up here, just under this 36 even dollar amount and this 20 moving average. And uh, uh, so I'm going to set up a half order here, and I'm going to take out half. Because if it stalls right here, I'm going to take out half. That's what my trading rules tell me to do. And uh, we're sitting here waiting, 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 and then it, I did take out half right here at. 36.40 was my fill on my half out for 2.0% on that first half. Now I'm setting, taking the shares, cutting them in half on my SOP because I only have half as many left. And now I'm going to bring that up here just under this 20 moving average here now at about uh, 36.14. 36.14 is my stop. It's starting to break out above that area there now. And then it oh, pulled right back. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Pulled right back to what was a line of resistance, became support, and then rolled right back up. Yeah, and now it's, it's just taking its way. So again, I'm trading some other things at this point. We're taking our time with this. Uh oh, 37 even dollar amount here. 37 even dollar amount, basing just under it. Okay, I'm bringing my stop along this 20 moving average. And we'll see um, uh, if that's going to be a good spot for it or not. If it, you know, can it have a shield so that if it does pull back, it gives it a reason to turn around. And oh, come on, it's, it's, it just look at that. It tagged. It, it pierced above that 37, and then came right back down. And and now as it consolidates up here for a while, what happens to the 20? Uh, the 20 moving average and the 8 EMA, they start pulling together here. So I'm going to pull my stop up here. Uh, uh, just underneath, the, the, still under that 20 moving average area, as it bases at $37, and now it's up like like 25, 30 percent on the day. And then look at, see how they can they're pulling together in consolidation like that. So I'm going to keep my stop down here uh, underneath this area, uh, but I'm not going to keep it at the 8 EMA anymore because look at that, they're right together there. It, and here's a second time it tried to pierce this area right here. I don't know why at 37.10 it just keeps piercing it but not closing above that area. So I'm bringing my stop up here to about 36.83, 36.83, right where all of these were dropping to before. And what happened? Now? Bam, look at that. Look at that. It just dropped right through all of that. It pierced down to there and stopped me out and my fill on it was at 36.78 on the second half uh, for 3.0 percent. All right, let's take a look at this whole trade here. And that was, it was a high base here. When it broke out above those wicks there, I got in and then as it ran up here, when it stalled, according to my trading rules, I took out half and then it continued to rise up here and then it was high basing a long time I kept bringing my stop up when it, where where the support was and then finally it snapped down and, and, and got me out so this total trade was for 2.5 percent in 46 minutes whoo ah see not a high adrenaline trade not all day trades you have to be you know all, all pumped up and everything else it we just there's a slow and steady uh, trade there over 45 minutes 
and then what happened there it took off again look at this a little boom it took off again we did have a second trade on it um, and then look at that way up here it's still it's still going it's still going up here and then it had a little bit of capitulation here and now the market started to turn around and so did it but at the time of this uh, recording here at at 135 Eastern time it's up 31 percent on the day whoo ah go snap so this was just one of the 10 trades that we had in the Grok day trading chat room today here are the results from today show you all of my trades here um, Again, well, today's lesson here is what uh, is the number four here on Mark Douglas's uh, from Mark Douglas's book Trading in the Zone. He said there were four things you need to be consistent in your trading, and this is number four. We've been talking about each of these uh, this uh, past week here in the in the trading room. That is spontaneously enter the zone. That is a strong, uh, virtually unshakable belief in an uncertain outcome with an edge in your favor. So the edge that we were using in our favor was that high base breakout. That's what we used to put the odds in our favor. Doesn't mean we're going to get a, a winning trade every time, but it does mean that we have odds in our favor when we took it. So let's look at the 10 trades that we had today here in the, in the Grok Day Trading Chat Room. Um, and uh, uh, here we are. This was the 2.5% trade that you just saw on Snap. And then, like I said, I did get in Snap later uh, in the day for another 1% down here in trade number 9. Um, and um, and then I had one other trade for one percent, but all the other ones were less than one percent. Oh no, I had a two percent here on NKLA. Take that back. So we had several of them that were over one percent. But look at this: uh, my my expense rates just a zero point five and a zero point five. Very different day from yesterday. Uh, so we'd had an eighty percent success rate today. Two. Um, our actual reward risk ratio of 2.3 to 1 then that's why we were able to net 8% today now with our model portfolio that's about $800 uh, if you're trading $10,000 per trade uh, again that's our model portfolio that you could work up to over time but for the week here uh, Monday we had our mentoring class going on so it was just a lesson day in the Grok Day Trading Chat Room did not trade the markets um, that day but uh, yesterday we just struggled just almost made one percent yesterday today we made eight percent so for the week we're at nine percent already with two more days to trade uh, we're gonna have a twenty percent target for this week so we're, we're just about halfway there we'll see how we end up the week so this is Mark the Meerkat if you'd like to join us in the Grok Day Trading Chat Room just go to groktrade.com groktrade.com trade well everyone and may your winners run <laughs>